Good Morning Newton North. I'm Emma Bradshaw. And I'm Dylan Fort. Do you ride a bike? Are you concerned about safety as the days get shorter and it gets dark earlier? Bike Club is excited to announce that the Mass Bike and the 545 Velo Group are bringing their Light Brigade campaign to Newton North. Both bike groups' goal is to make sure that every cyclist has lights during the darker seasons. Tomorrow, November 7th, volunteers will be on the plaza behind the cafeteria before school installing bike lights for free to anyone who rides a bike to school. In other club news, the ASL club will be having their first class tomorrow during X block. Classes will meet in room 366 and there is a sign-up sheet outside that room for all that are interested. Staff and students are both welcome. Some of you might remember last year's amazing Women in STEM Day event. Well, tomorrow, Newton North will host its second annual day. We'll be hearing from local professionals who will discuss their experiences and their exciting research. Also, numerous local STEM groups will be on Main Street during lunch to talk about their programs, so make sure to stop by. The Newton Night, Newton North student-run newspaper, has a new podcast called Miamis. If you're interested in writing or have an interesting story you are willing to share, you should submit to Miamis. Miamis is a student-run platform for North students to tell five-minute true stories on air. The hosts are looking for submissions from all grade levels. If you are interested in submitting, go to tinyurl.com slash Podcast. You can also listen to episode one on the Newton Knight website. In theater news, auditions for the spring musical Hello Dolly are in full swing. To find audition packets and the specifics for auditions, go to theaterinc.net. Hello Dolly is a high energy show bursting with romance, comedy, and amazing Broadway hits. If this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to check it out. In athletics news, Unified Basketball Senior Night was rescheduled to today at 4 p.m. Please come and support the seniors at the Reggie Gym. As the fall athletic season comes to a close, we wish to congratulate all our athletes on their amazing seasons. A few teams are still playing in the various state tournaments. Check the athletic schedule online for up-to-date information. As the winter season approaches, several teams have information sessions this week. Girls Gymnastics will meet today at 315 in room A209. Tomorrow, Girls Indoor Track will meet in room A209. Nordic Ski will meet in room A207. And you will have an opportunity to meet the new head coach, Whit Parker. Newton's annual Hayfest happened last month. Being such a staple event, we wanted to learn a bit more about the festival. Reporter Natalie Levinson tells us more. Hello Newton North, today I'm here at Jackson Homestead Museum for Homestead Hayfest, an event where you can learn how people in the 19th century lived. Let's go. Every autumn, Jackson Homestead hosts Hayfest, a family-oriented day of activities based on the games and tasks the Jackson family spent their days with in the 19th century. I don't see many cell phones out. Um, this is a day when families are really focused in on activities that they're doing together. Participants can engage in activities such as butter churning. It is here. But. <laughs> butter. Oh it's my butter. Goodness. Apple cider pressing. We came once last year and we had a great time with the cider press, so that's why we're back. Sack racing. I'm excited about the sack races. Do you think you're going to win the sack races? Yes. Weaving, candle dipping, and more. Not only is Hayfest the perfect family activity, it's also a valuable learning experience. I think it's important so they can learn more about the history of this place and where we were and how far have we come from there. If we don't teach about this, it could just fade away and no one will know about this. There's so much about Newton that if you love Newton like most of us do, if you understand the history, you love it even more. As you can see, Homestead Hayfest is a fun, family-friendly local event where you can put yourself in the shoes of families in the 1900s. Be sure to stop by next year. I'm Natalie Levinson, signing off. That looks like a lot of fun. Thanks, Natalie. Last week, we announced a giveaway on our Instagram, and we've picked a winner. Congratulations to Serena Chuang for winning this NNTV Crew t-shirt. Please come down to our studio when you can to claim our prize. We hope to do another giveaway like this soon, so be sure to keep following us on Instagram for a chance to win. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure to check us out at newtonnorthtv.com.